James is having Korean bulgogi barbecue from it was given to us by the Salvation Army but it came from Costco originally and that's for dessert I'm going to talk about tax collector the tax collector I got top of the stack um, against the Lone Ranger seasons one and two um, although well I haven't I haven't actually uh, looked at season two yet I will um, but I just wanted to show you these cover shots because they're so awesome. Is it the original stuff? Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Isn't that great? Uh, that's awesome. So, but um, they are in black and white, or at least the first season is so far, and we'll see about the second. The Lone Ranger! Yeah. But um, anyway, it's been good to sleep too. The Lone oh, Ranger. That's awesome. Yeah, so that, that is awesome. Good sleep, um, but I mean it's it's funny, right? I I like to see the the beginning stuff to see well where did the Lone Ranger come from? What's his backstory? And they show you right away. <laughs> it's like so that's great. So if you want to know, you get to know right away the first episode. You get to know how he got his his name and how um, he and Tonto they have a they have a backstory. And, so you get to know that right away. I'm sure the tone of things totally politically incorrect. Whatever. I mean, in this show, you can see the Lone Ranger, like he says right away, he's like, I'm not going to shoot the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm leaving that up to the lawman, you know, mm -hmm. right? So no, he and Tonto, they're going around, they're, you can say they're into vigilante justice, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. They're leaving it up to the lawman to do that. Basically, passes. Exactly. They're, they're not the Hardy Boys. They're they're stopping the bad guys, but and trying to steer the the lawman into yeah. making the 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 big calls. Basically. No, they they are lugging guns. They the original are, Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys are lugging guns. Are they really? Mm. Mm -hmm. But it was policy with them and Nancy Drew pretty quickly. Yeah, and this one's Lone guns. Ranger right in the, in the cover. He's shooting. It. See, looks like a laser coming out of there. Well, that's Fire coming out of his gun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, so they are. And, I mean, he, you can tell he really loves Silver, his horse. Hi, who is Silver? You get the backstory on Silver. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and, not so much. I, you don't know why he's shown up there, where he's come up from. Is Silver a boy or a girl? Uh, well, I think he's a boy. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know. I, I wasn't looking for genitalia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, I love the the horse that Tonto's riding, too. It's a good horse. But, I mean... Do you remember the name? Uh, Scout. Scout. Yeah, Scout is Tonto's horse. Mm -hmm. Um... So they're a part of the, you know, you can say, well, this is Lone Ranger and Tonto, but I mean, the horses have names and they're a part of the group too. Oh, <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so they're, they're, they're a team, mm -hmm. a gang, two horses and two guys in black and white. But I mean, it's funny because you can see things like the, there's one show where there's a team, um, some maybe a little bit chubby or whatever, but uh, a stocky, we'll say a stocky sort of Caucasian man is hanging out with a, a Mexican guy, and uh, they're they're constantly fighting, but they're best friends, with each other. right? Yeah, with mm -hmm. each other, but they're best friends. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, this is they were trying to have um, to show people getting along, you know, with different cultures and whatever. They have their differences, but um, but they're pals all the same. Yeah. So, you know, oh, Tonto's a sidekick. Yeah, that's better than ask. Yeah. It's better than ask. Yeah, you can see that in, even just watching the first few episodes of The Lone Ranger, you can see that The Lone Ranger is a big fan of um, Native people. Hmm. He's trying to help them and stuff so yeah i got to find out when this was put out the, I can't 
would be United States. It they, had the, you know, the letters, the MX, oh, I whatever. I, I couldn't figure those out. Yeah, I could have if I took the time to try, but I did not care. Yeah. It so matters to me. It does matter. <laughs> Basically, anyway. the United States was way more left-wing than it has been in my lifetime, in the 30s and 40s and early 50s. And um, people don't want to recognize that. Yeah. Uh, the Hardy Boys did their political correctness thing starting 1958. That's when I was four years old, flunkies. Well, yeah. most of you guys aren't flunkies, actually. But, um, yeah, so the main one they were going after, and it was lefties, uh, was uh, one called the Hidden Harbor Mystery. It had a guy called, what was his name, Luke Jones or something like that. He, he kind of dressed like uh, LeBum James and uh, loudmouth, like LeBum James. Only in the case of Luke Jones, he was a criminal. And uh, the lefties had to change that. That's in the freaking 50s. They had to have a change. All because right. there, there just could no way be a black criminal. Now, we all know that it's not that way. But, uh, yeah. And so they politically correct well, us, yeah, corrected the hard it's boys. Racist in the other direction mm -hmm. to expect, oh, yeah, angels. They're all angels, you know, mm -hmm. in one cultural group. And then there's no, you know, it's, it's and ridiculous. The, just the criminals who followed it. What? Like Luke Jones was not. It was just penny and he piss at him. The guy who followed him, Sinister Signpost, is a guy called Bill Knott. He's got a Russian name, spelled like a German thing. This was put out maybe 1936. So I don't have to tell you. And there were some nasty people in Germany and Russia then. And Vilnov is planning on blowing up Bayport. Compare that with a penny ante criminal in the previous one, Hidden Harbor Mystery. Uh, he's basically German, the way his name is spelled. Now, what's, what, what's that going on? Next one, figure in hiding. There's one person with an accent in there. And they wanted to, the politically correct people wanted to kill, from what I can tell, all the accents. But he take the book! He take the book! What happens is they see uh, this guy, he's working a place, I think he's a gardener. He sees uh, one of the Hardy Boys take a book. You know? And, but he, he's a nice guy. He just thinks the Hardy Boys are bad guys, right? He take the book. It caused all sorts of, uh, a little bit of a kerfuffle. But who are the bad guys? Spotty Lemuel, um, Rip Cinder. Um, there's one guy who's a borderline part of the story. Nick Cordoba, he's actually a potential rapist. But, uh, okay, he doesn't have, a, I don't know if he even talks in the thing. So he's got kind of like a, a Spanish name, uh, Latin first name. I hope you're better now. I forgot to put my mask on. I'm so tired. Okay. I, I'm feeling quite a bit better. But uh, Nick Cordoba, he's just, he's hardly anything. Spotty Lemuel, Rip Cinder, and the big criminal is a guy called Grafton. Yeah, spoiler alert, because I know you guys want to read this. Uh, Grafton is his name. Grafton is an English name, okay? Uh, oh, that's oh, why. So yeah, anyway, there's the, 52 yeah. episodes in the first season, 26 in the second season, so there's 20 hours, 9 minutes in this first season of mm -hmm. entertainment. You can see things like the wires on their hats when their hats go flying off. It's great, like a glimpse in the in the light and you're like, oh, what's that? Some sort of wire. Wires. Yeah. So then you know ahead of time, oh, the hat's going to go flying off. Oh, they're being pulled. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, fun things like that. Yeah. And, like, there's one guy who gets lassoed by the Lone Ranger, and he just, like, he just sits there <laughs> and lets himself be lassoed, and he doesn't even look down to, like, oh, what the heck was that that I felt? You know? <laughs> anyway. 
I used to love the Lone Ranger. I tell you, mm. I probably still love it now. Yeah, but I'm having a good time watching it. Mm. I'll review it later mm. on because, like I said, I haven't even gotten to the second mm. season yet. I'm still working through the first. Yeah, because there's a lot of hours there. So, um, and I look forward to the sleep that I will get. I've already fallen asleep quite a few times just mm -hmm. while asleep on the Lone Ranger. Which is amazing because I you think da 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 you think that'd wake me up. No. It's great. So anyway, the tax collector. This one got top of the stack. I did not expect that. It is there is extreme gruesome torture in here. It says here on the back, perfect combination of intense drama, heartfelt moments, gruesome torture and epic fight scenes. Oh, okay. Yeah, gruesome torture and epic fight scenes. Uh, there's, Turned me away. Huh? Yeah, and so I, I'm not into that sort of thing. Mm. I, I didn't expect to like this movie at all. The, um, the special whoever they had doing the makeup for that gruesome torture stuff. Wow, you, you really know your stuff. Like that was totally believable. When there was one time when the guy, um, there's a guy who gets his face like they open up the van door while they're driving and the guy holds a guy's face down to the pavement for a while mm -hmm. when he gets back up yeah that looks pretty gruesome it and looks like uh, road wrecks, yeah? you betcha with Seriously. like teeth showing and stuff oh, okay. yeah it's really uh gross and um there's a lot of descriptions of things that for like i'm listening to it and like they describe somebody um, wiggling around like a seal, I think. Huh. And uh, after being tortured, and and it's like I, I'm listening to it. And just so you know, if there you're you have these major arteries in your legs, right? And if that's one thing you have to worry about, that's why people wear chainsaw pants or chaps when they're using a chainsaw, because smart. yeah. Because if you don't, you're just, um, you're a, not just an accident waiting to happen, you're a fatal accident waiting to happen. Because if you cut one of those, you're gone. Yeah, you can't do right it. Right away. So, hearing a description like of somebody wiggling around like a seal or a porpoise after a certain sort of torture, I'm thinking, like with a chainsaw, they, uh, I, I'm like, that wouldn't even happen. Because they... What, for like 30 seconds? Like, big deal. <laughs> you watched some soccer That sounds like a, a, a way to put somebody out of their misery really quickly. You watched some soccer with me. Yeah. And I'll say, that guy's really into it. You know, yeah, more, exactly. And you'll see, especially the Italians, smarten it up, you Italians. When you're really hurt, you're not wiggling you're around. You're not like flopping a seat. around. <laughs> anyway. The Italians are awful. They actually, their national team, They'll have them train it, you know, like, I think it's something like, whistle, fall, and start flopping around. Yeah. So, I don't know. So you're thinking, well, why did you give this top of the stack? Well, this is, uh, if you're watching it and you're like, wow, this guy's a hero. Check your morals. <laughs> Honestly, you got some problems. Uh, but I like the fact that they're showing gang violence that it's out there and it's like there's one moment it's near the beginning of the movie where the the guy is like uh he's telling one of the um people who is working or is going to be working for him if your um counts or like if you're i don't know what he called it the payment if the payment if your payment is short you're going collecting money from like these uh, it's drug people whatever you're going collecting this money and if your payment is short then um you have to make up for it go you know sell your sister into prostitution do whatever you can because you're gonna that you're responsible for that being exact and then he says but you know when you're a part of our team, nobody's going to mess with you. Because, you like, nobody messes with us. Right? And it's like, the guy is looking kind of scared. And he should. Because, honestly, when you hear that, you should be thinking, okay, but you're going to be messing with me. You just told me. 
that if somebody else doesn't, if their the payment isn't right and I'm picking it up, then I'm going to have to, you know, it's me who's getting to wobble around like a seal or whatever, or I'll sell my sister into prostitution or rob banks or whatever to make up the money, right? So, um, really, anybody should be watching this stuff in that light. They should be going, man, I don't want to get into this sort of stuff. These people are awful, awful people. That's how you should be watching it. And so, top of the stack. I think they did the job. And if you want to see some really believable, gruesome um, torture makeup, they did it. And they so, threw a hot looking babe on the front to sell her from the sea. Yeah, but she up. is not a good person. <laughs> she is not she good. And so, I mean, if anybody watches them go, oh yeah, she's just my type. No. <laughs> oh, she is not. Uh, Oh, did you have anything else to say? Should I? Do you want to comment on the Korean barbecue? I mean, this is the first time you've eaten meat in a long time. I convinced you to do it. It's uh, pretty good. That's good. I I really I overcooked it. You might have noticed it's pretty burnt, but I didn't know I don't how really long to cook it. In other words, it's good. Okay. 